One half pounds. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. His professional record, 30 victories against seven defeats and three draws. Ten by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolando Bojo. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with white letters, weighing an even 118 pounds. He's from the Big Apple, New York City. He is one of the top rated fighters in the Bantamweight division today with an undefeated record, a perfect 19-0, 13 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, Junior Poison Jones. Okay, gentlemen, I gave you your instructions in the dressing room. I'm gonna caution you new again. I don't want any hitting after the bell, and I don't want any hitting on the break. Okay, this is gonna be 10 rounds with a good, clean contest. Come on, boxing in each round. Good touch gloves. Good luck. So there's a look at Rolando Bohol, who was quietly confident, I guess is about the best way I could think of to describe our conversation this morning. And Junior Jones, who you have an idea is not the kind of guy to look by a fight thinking championship is right down the road. Not at this point, and especially not at the age of 20. And he knows what can happen. He saw his, uh, well, let's take a look at the knockout percentages. Obviously, Bo Hall with a lesser percentage than Jones. Jones a knockout artist. He saw what happened to Eddie Cook, who got derailed, maybe look, possibly looking ahead. It's Dio Andrihar, the man who gave Scotty Olsen his trouble. Andrihar won possibility for a future opponent for Jones, in fact. Bo Hall out of that same mold, very experienced. Not physically so much out of the same mold, but just in terms of experience. He won the IBF title over 15 rounds against Chang Poi Choi in Manila back in January of 88. Defended it uh, once against uh, Cho Woon Park again in Manila, and then lost to Duke McKenzie in London in Let's October about, of that year. Talk about something that you and I have discussed on numerous occasions, and it's a real soapbox of yours, and we talked to Junior Jones about it this morning. And I say let's mention this now because it's something to watch as the fight goes on. Jones says, I'm not going to worry about the fact that Bohol is a left-hander. I'm just going to do what I always do. I'm not going to worry about my feet. I'm not going to worry about things like that. And yet, you are always talking about footwork in fighting a left-hander. Well, Joey Farrell is a terrific trainer, and Junior Jones is a good boxer, and they've made a great team. I kind of disagree with them, though, when they say it doesn't matter where your left foot is in connection with a, a, uh, a left-handed boxer. I believe you need to get your left foot outside the right foot of the boxer. And there you see. Now, my opinion is you give a left-hander a chance to get to you when your left foot is inside his right foot. I'm not saying that has to be your be-all and end-all to be concerned with, but I think you have to be aware of it. So we'll watch it. And I'm sure Joe Farrell is reasoning is let's not give the fighter anything else to think about it now. yes i understand that completely he's a 20 year old who he feels you take what's given to you and if you start making that many adjustments sometimes it can can really play with your mind and i can appreciate that i just think against the left hander that is something to think about think it makes it easier for Jones to land a left hook to the head and the body and that is an important weapon for him. Nice body work by Jones. So the first round largely a round of feeding each other out, a right hand by Bohal to finish it. Yeah, and Jones has landed a couple times, but hasn't thrown as much as I would have thought he would. I'll tell you what, though, the way this bout is being fought right now, even though I have Jones winning it and winning it handily, the way it's being fought, and I was just going to say, means that Bo Hall is in a position to land some punches like that overhand right. Because it's a little bit of a slugfest on the inside. And a ball uppercut got there. And Jones is leaning in a lot. This guy did not get to become world champion by having nothing. A couple of good body shots, but a lot of those punches were blocked on the arms and the gloves of Boha. Well, there was a case of Boha throwing that right hand you were talking about. You know, they could 
say what they want. I'm going to tell you, if Junior Jones was just six inches to his left, he'd be landing that straight right hand and those hooks to the body. <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, he would be. See, he's just, his foot positioning isn't as good as it should be. A, a lefty facing a, a veteran, a crafty guy who covers up very well, slips punches well. I'll make a point that you made in an earlier fight, actually, and it seems to me that Bull Hall is really there for an uppercut. And Jones, yeah, and Jones has landed a couple times, but hasn't thrown as much as I would have thought he would. Bob, this round. And he took one there. Gave one and took one. The right hook of Bull Hall starting to get there, and I'll tell you, it's not a bad punch, Barry. He's throwing it with a lot of conviction and fairly compact. This is the most punches we've seen Jones miss so far in his in the box ring camera. Of course, he's landing a lot, too. Yeah, and I think perhaps that's more of what Bohol is doing rather than what Jones isn't doing. Bohol is starting to get that right hook in. He is waiting for oh, another low blow, was it? One more, and they will take a point away. I really couldn't see that one. Obviously, something must have landed low. There's the hook again by Boho. I don't think, though, that Boho wants to get into exchanges with Jones. Well, on, on the inside, if, if he can, it'll work for him. On the outside, no. But on the inside, it, it can work for him if he keeps countering like he is with that overhand right. Countering very well with the right hand. And he does it when Jones goes downstairs with his left hook to the body or when Jones throws the straight right hand. And that was an excellent right. And the uppercut. There's the missing link, that uppercut. And a wow. big left hand, too. That hurt Bahal, who's now in trouble. Jones didn't take a backward step. And I'm going to tell you what. Excellent work by Junior Jones, but Bohoff still dangerous with that overhand right. Bohoff is not hurt that badly, Barry, amazingly. No, he's he got his legs under him again now. And Junior Jones is a puncher, and he's been hit with big shots. by Jones. A lot of pushing and holding there by Jones, which he doesn't get a warning from Dick Flaherty. I'll tell you, Rolando Bahal has taken some huge shots from Jones in this round and hasn't even buckled. Really makes you wonder how Yuri Arbachakov knocked out Bohal in two rounds. We asked him about that today, and Bohal said, no, no, I was knocked yeah. out. You said, was it a cut? He said, no, no, I was knocked out. Very honest about that. Well, I'm sure Junior Jones feels, and rightly so, that when he hits uh, Bantamweights with those kind of shots, they're supposed to go down. And they have been going down, but Bohal is not uh, cooperated. Barry Tompkins, Al Bernstein. This is our main event here at the Centrum in Worcester. Bantamweights, 10-rounder. This is Junior Jones in the blue trunks, Rolando Bohal in the white trunks. And an entertaining fight. It really is, yeah. Bohal has hung in there at the beginning. He was, looked a little outclassed, but he's had his moments in the last several rounds. Right, right, got a little bit of everything. Clash of heads and a cut. A couple of low blows, but no point taken away from Bohal. Murderous body punches. And what a right hand to Bohal's head. Finally, he's buckled a little bit. Oh, man. Three tough body shots, four body shots. Those are wicked. I, those are the, the best body shots I've ever seen. And it set up that right hand to the head. And Bohal still hasn't taken oh. a backward step. Oh. And there's a head to the chin. And a low blow as well. Flaherty says, uh -uh, I don't believe it was a low blow. I didn't see the low blow, but I sure did see the head to the chin. Wild action. How, how did Bohol stay up? Boy, you know, some huge shots. That was extraordinary. Those body shots have got to take something out of him. Those were among the best body shots I've seen in ages. Now there, Junior Jones stepped to his left, and there. See, when you step to the left, you got a, a left-hander right where you want it. 
right, and he can throw go. anything he wants when he's in that position. Boy, those are some wicked shots to the body. And he did it instinctively right, there. Yeah, right. that, I mean, those were huge body shots. Oh! Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that hurts. And Jones goes right back downstairs. I mean, he is wailing the body. But he's susceptible to that right hook. You better be careful when he digs down there. Now, he just did what Joe Ferriella suggested in the corner. Go to the body, go to the liver, come with the right uppercut. Let's see if he does it again and see if he can make it work. Orlando Bohal, as tough as you can possibly be. There's that hook. He's still throwing it. Bohal is still throwing it. He's smiling. He's a tough little guy. There's the way in the world I would be smiling. Oh, man. And you know, normally a fighter smiles with always say to hide that he's hurt. I don't know if that's true in Bohal's case. A warning to Jones for grabbing behind the head by Dick Flaherty. An appropriate warning. He's been doing it throughout the bout. But then there have been a lot of strange things going on in that ring. Right hand, right hand of the body. This is as good a body punching performance as we've seen in a while. We've seen some good ones here on our show. Yeah, and a lesser guy would really have already paid the price for those body shots. Bohol has stood up pretty well. Saints, no reason why he shouldn't stop things and put the mouthpiece back in. Jones took a pretty good left hand from Bohol. There's a misnomer that when you're tall, you can't fight well on the inside. Jones disproves that. That's stunning. Very good left hand by Bohal. Rolando Bohal is not out of this match. We've seen him in the last couple rounds pick up the pace. He keeps throwing. He took in the in the fourth and fifth rounds, in the sixth rounds, he took huge shots from Jones that, sh that would have knocked out many other men and would have knocked out the men that he's been facing. And we get reports that uh, perhaps Junior Jones has hurt his right hand. He's shaking that hand. We'll see. He throws it there and he throws it to the body, but he hasn't thrown it as much in this round. We will get a chance to talk to Junior Jones after this fight. We'll find out. So if he does have an injury, it could affect that. dropping in the corner of Junior Jones. I didn't hear any conversation about an injury to a hand, so I would say perhaps that that may be erroneous. No, it looks like they would have mentioned it. He would have mentioned it, Joe Ferriello. Instead, Joe Ferriello told him, you've got to punch more. This guy lost some respect for you. You've got to punch more and get that respect back. He feels he stopped working a little bit on the inside, and that last round was probably Bullhoff's best round in a while. Let's listen to Joe Ferriello between rounds. Can you fight two rounds? All right, now look, you gotta fight. You're not looking to fight. You're throwing a couple of punches, then you grab it and you hold it, and the guy's losing respect for you. Okay. Now that's why it's getting tougher. Well, twice you got inside, and you didn't throw no punches. What's the matter with those body shots in the upper start, like you were throwing before? Sage advice, I'd say. And after that, Joey Farrell said, now don't be discouraged, and Junior said, I'm not discouraged. He said, then punch. <laughs> Close round, there you saw 
uh, Boha landing again about at about the level he has been landing percentage wise. Jones not throwing as many and not landing as many. Now we've seen Junior Jones go 10 a couple of times before. Different both times against Juan Carrazo. He looked tired toward the end and won. But against Jose Luis Vega Gil, uh, he went 10 and looked very strong. And I want to forget about this before the fight ends. I've been meaning to mention Rolanda Bohal on these information sheets that we get on each fighter. Under favorite athlete, I thought his comment was very interesting. He has Jennifer Capriati. Oh, interesting. Tennis fan, huh? Very odd for a man to put a woman. He's an enlightened man of the 90s. Absolutely. I like that. Absolutely. I think he probably admires her guts. I'll tell you what, she's showing a lot. That is for sure. So you over there in Zurich doing that tennis? Zip to, zip to, to Zurich as it yes, I turn on my TV, I never know where I'm going to find you. <laughs> Jones still a little lethargic with his punches in this round. Because he's comfortably ahead in this bout, I would think. He's probably won virtually every round. And Bohal himself, of course, a little bit. The Bantamweight Championship picture, the WBA champ is Israel Contreras from Venezuela who beat Greg Richardson. The WB has Jassi Sinto, Toto Yoshino. I did that pretty good, huh? Not bad. Not who bad. Beat, uh, he beat Richardson. Israel Contreras beat Luisito Espinosa. And Orlando Canizales has the IBF Championship. Any of those men, this young man, Junior Jones, would love to get in the ring with in the near future. It's interesting that Joey Ferriella said we'll take any of them with the possible exception of Orlando Canizales, but yet when we spoke of them this morning, Canizales was on his lips, in a matter of speaking. All right, all right, let him out. I got it. Well, they told Junior Jones to throw body punches and uppercuts. He combined that advice through a body shot that was an uppercut. Tenth and final round, and Joey Ferriello again heeding his charge to fight, even though the decision does not appear to be too much in doubt. Well, we're like the ball hall, the kind of guy that you don't have to feel bad that he went 10 rounds with you. He's been 10 rounds with Happy Laura and a bunch of other good fans. There you see a good percentage landed by Boha, but he hasn't thrown enough. And uh, for Jones, his percentage is a little less, but so many more punches landed. I'm not sure what that discussion was about. That was a good left hand. Another right hand, a left behind it. And we'll see if that's a knockdown. No. Orlando Bahala anxious to get back into the fray. He knows he needs a knockout to win. And he'll do his best here, but he is walking into some shots in the process. Oh, that was a wild right hook. That opened up the cut again. First time that cut has been opened in about five rounds. You know, you can see that against a shorter, oh, good left hand, a shorter, less quick, and not so strong a bantamweight, Rolando could make a fantastic fight. It's the normal size bantamweight, which Jones isn't. Somebody okay. standing in front of him like that, it would be a really an excellent matchup. Good straight left hand by Bohal. But Junior Jones just has a little too much for Bohal in terms of speed, power, and physical assets. Hey, I don't think he really hurt Bohal except Perhaps on one or two occasions. Hey, what? He hit him with some huge shots. Nice uppercut from Baha. And he tries it again. Well, I'll tell you, I was a believer in Junior Jones before, and, and I haven't changed my mind. No. The fact that Bohal has been tough for him, even though he's won virtually every round, is, is no problem for Jones. It's a tough guy he's facing. Break All right, I can. but leaving himself open. He really is leaving himself open. And you know, Mahal's not hitting him, but somebody else might. And this is nitpicking, maybe. See, he did get it. With a straight left, Mahal landed. Jones was very wide open. He was hurt with that left hand, Barry. Yeah, if there were more than 10 seconds left in his bout, Junior might have a little problem. 
little too careless in the last couple of minutes. All right, I got it. He knows he won, but he, what a delightful, engaging young man he was when we talked to him. And the crowd appreciates the effort of both men, and why not? The other two judges had it relatively close, 97.